Verletzung. <lacht> here this is red luna journal welcome back to my youtube channel so today's video is going to be me transforming into a supermodel so obviously right now i look a little crusty and dusty i don't look great i just like shaved my face and exfoliated and everything so that is all done i didn't want to film that part of it because you guys already know how i do that so if you haven't watched that how to shave video it'll be linked right up here i'm just going to be doing the makeup and hair today and i'm going to try something like pretty dramatic for my makeup so yeah with that being said let's get on with the rest of this video we're gonna start off with setting my face and so you guys know I don't really have like primer and stuff like that but I do have a concealer I'm gonna try to use that as foundation and try to really just conceal everything so let's start with that the concealer I have is a Maybelline New York fit me concealer it's in the shade 40 caramel I do have a couple of little pimples here and there my skin has not been liking me for the past couple of weeks I think it's the heat and also the fact that I may be eating a little bit more junk food. That's good, I guess. Gotta cover my little breakouts. Okay, that's a shit ton of concealer, but like I said, I want to treat this as foundation, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start blending this in with my fingers. I feel like my hands are gonna get so messy, but actually I might have a beauty blender. I found a beauty blender in the depths of my mom's makeup cabinet, so I'm gonna use this to blend it all in. concealer fits my complexion so well you guys know that i can't wear like drugstore makeup or whatever like i have to use that brand young blood because of my acne and all that i don't know about like if this would cause breakouts or not probably if i wore it every day it would but i will say that if you are looking for like a good coverage concealer this one is really nice covered up all of my like huge acne literally like right away and some of the acne scars usually like after you have a pimple like a couple weeks after you'll have that like really dark scar those are really usually hard to cover up because like the skin on it is like thinner but this concealer covered that up so well and i used a beauty blender i didn't even use my finger and like set it with powder yet or anything i only used one coat of it so i actually really like this concealer my face looks so good i look like i put like foundation on what the heck and this one's like an active red pimple so let's see covered that pretty well too i'm really impressed i really like this the finish of it is just so glowy and dewy that might also be because it's warm <laughs> in my room a1 maybelline good job i'm also gonna put this on my eyelids because i so did not do that just to set them Wow, yeah. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the finish of this is just fucking amazing. Like I really like this concealer. It just looks like I put dewy foundation on and it literally covered everything and I only used one coat. That's crazy, wow, I'm impressed. Okay, so now we're gonna set this and I'm gonna use my powder that I always use. This is the Youngblood Mineral Rice Setting Powder in the shade Dark. You guys know about this brand and how much I love it. It doesn't cause me acne. It's what my dermatologist recommended and everything. So this is the setting powder I have and I'm just gonna take a large fluffy brush and just go to town on my face. Okay, now that my face is set, I'm just gonna go in under the eyes and over the eyes to, over the eyes on my eyelids to set that with a smaller brush just to make sure there's no creasing. So now we're gonna do blush and highlight. I'm gonna try to do the blush more here. I've seen this trend, obviously, you guys have probably seen it so much on TikTok and Instagram, but you know, like that e-girl vibe where they have the blush like here and it looks really cute and youthful. So I'm gonna try doing that. I am using the Youngblood 
pressed mineral blush in the shade Blossom. And there you go, I'm a makeup guru. Next we're gonna do highlight. So I'm gonna take the Mineral Radiance in the shade Splendor. This is how that palette looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and take that center shade as well as that like rose goldy shade. That one's super pretty. Gonna put some on my Cupid bow even though my sweat is already highlighting that area. Now that we're done with the face, we are gonna start off with eyes. I'm taking this palette by Beauty Glazed. It is called Impressed You. Wow, you can't see that at all. Mm, it's really silver, there you go. You guys know I've had this palette from Amazon. It was like $12. Check it out if you guys need a new colored palette. It's really cute and so inexpensive. These are all the shades and I do want to follow the pink blush trend. I'm going to try doing that pink eyeshadow thing. So many people do this. Again, it's another makeup trend that's been so popular for the spring and summertime. So we're going to try doing that, like a pink red eye kind of a thing. I'm going to be taking these two colors right here. They are like the more peacher colors of the palette. Palette, and I'm gonna be mixing those and putting that as a transition shade in my crease Okay, you literally can't even see it because of my skin color <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here and put that in the outer corner so that like pink red really comes out Now I want to go in with the lid shades, which are going to be glittery. <laughs> wow, I can't speak today. So what I'm going to do is do like this pink, which is like a very pink pink. And I'm going to do this red foily color. So the pink is going to go in the first half of the lid and then the red foily color will go in the latter half of the lid. this lighter pink here and then put that in the inner corner. And now for the under eyes, I'm going to be using that same red color just to line my entire lash line. Okay guys, I'm so sorry, but I don't have any mascara. I was really looking forward to using it, but my mom doesn't have it either. I think she threw hers away, so there's that. But I'm gonna be using this Voluminous Smoldering Eyeliner by L'Oreal. makes my eyes water this is the eyes I think they turned out so pretty we're gonna move on to eyebrows now you guys know I don't usually film my eyebrows either but I have an eyebrow pencil today so this is the eyebrow pencil I used to use when I did my eyebrows it is the L'Oreal brow stylist definer ultra fine tip shaping pencil and it is in the shade dark brunette a little thick <laughs> that looks a lot better holy crap <laughs> oh my god the difference Okay, so now I'm gonna take my beloved brow gel. It is the Maybelline Great Lash in the shade Clear. I'm just gonna use this to keep my eyebrow hairs in place and also create that like feathered model eyebrow look. 
another pro tip if you have wild baby hairs like I do and I'm pretty sure every other girl does take the remnants of your brow gel and just tame them it works so well look at that I'm so excited wow okay so the last thing to do is lips now and I was debating between this brown lipstick which is from L'Oreal it's in the shade 839 cinnamon toast I really love this shade it's actually like my lipstick that I gave to my mom but it's too brown for this look I think and I want to go for a more pinker redder vibe instead I'm gonna take this other lipstick it's in the shade 402 Blake's red and it is from L'Oreal Paris it's like Blake Lively's collection exclusive thing and it's a really nice matte red so i'm gonna try doing this i don't want to go for like a full red lip i just want to go for like a more cherry like tinted lip balm kind of a look so we're gonna try doing that and then i'm gonna go for a clear gloss this is the moisturizing lip gloss and crystal clear from frilliance which is like fiona's line and i got a little gift from her so that's nice This is the finished makeup, you guys. I love it. I haven't done something like this in literally so long. Like, this is just so intense. It's not even intense. It's just a lot of makeup for me, but I really love it. Like, I think it looks... Sorry, I hit my tripod in excitement. But anyways, I think it looks really great. Again, I went for a more pinky, redder kind of look and for once the eyeshadow actually looks really good so yay Nareet and now we're gonna move on to the hair part of this video all right kiddos so for the hair I want to go for something that's like really sleek and simple that has kind of been my vibe recently anyways so I'm going to use this heat protectant spray it is the Tresemme thermal creations heat tamer I always use this when I use heat. I'm not using heat today, but I'm going to use this to slick back my hair a little bit. And then I'm going to tie it into kind of like a low bun ponytail kind of situation because my hair is like in its fucking awkward length right now. It looks so just, yeah, let's not talk about it. And then I have a little bag of bobby pins here too that I can use in case I need them. So now we're going to take some spray. I have a middle part, so I feel like that's fine already. I'm going to take some of the spray on my hand and just smooth it back and then brush it and try to put it into that tight low bun ponytail. Oh, that went straight up my nose. This is the scrunchie I have. It's this cute little leopard print cheetah thing. I think this would look so cute with my makeup right now. I literally put one loop through take the second one and then stop it right here before I like put it into a bun and then I'm left with this like awkward ass thing but I kind of keep it like that for now because it kind of looks cool no it doesn't but we're just gonna pretend it does and now that my hair is getting like really long I've been pushing it even up more so that I kind of phrase around the back part of my hair this is such a, I don't even know if this is a 90s thing, but if you guys watch Friends, Phoebe had a hairstyle like this and she rocked it. So don't narc me on my hair, okay? We are going to put some clips in now. So I have these little like black clips too that I think might be cute because that has been a vibe lately. And see, look how it's cute. Okay. Okay, she's not bad. Okay, I think that kind of looks cute actually. Someone tell me I'm wrong. For jewelry, I'm gonna wear these big red hoops. I have these from H&M. They're freaking gorgeous. They're literally just thin red hoops and they're sparkly, which is the best part, and it's gonna match this whole vibe. So I have to take out my current earrings to put that in, of course. Wow. Okay, I think the earrings actually pulled it in because I kind of look ridiculous with my hair. <laughs> Maybe I should just take these out and just do bobby pins. Okay, this definitely looks cuter and I actually like the look of the three bobby pins even though you can't see it in my hair because I have black hair. But yeah, this is the finished makeup look and hair and jewelry i guess i don't want to do outfit because i'm honestly just too lazy but i really enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i know it wasn't necessarily like super model vibes but honestly this is the closest i would get to it and i think i look pretty great if i do say so myself so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my video next week bye guys Little. <laughs>